I mean, holy cow, we just created all of this content with ChatGPT directly inside of Google Sheets. What's up, I'm Court. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create all of your posts, all these posts, all these different ideas using ChatGPT right inside of Google Sheets. So I'm gonna show you right now how to connect it. It is so cool. So what you need to do is get into Google Sheets. Then you're gonna go into extensions. This is so easy to do. You go to add-ons, get add-ons. And the one you wanna search for is called uh, GPT for Sheets. And so you go right there, you click it, and you can see it's already installed on mine, but you just install it and it takes just a few seconds. So then once you have it installed, you're gonna go back to extensions and you should have this drop down that says GPT for Sheets. And what you'll need to do is set your API key. Now, let me kind of go back. Um, I was trying to find, I can't find a place directly inside of ChatGPT to uh, get my API key. So if you Google right here, if you Google ChatGPT secret API key, it will take you, this is the top thing that came up for me. And uh, right here, it shows you um, what your API key is and, um, you can generate a new one that you will then take inside of um, inside of here. Sorry, you go back to extensions, GPT for sheets, and you would set API key. So once you do that, the two things will be connected and you should be good to go. So the way it works, and it's so simple, is um, you have to type exactly this um, inside of a cell equal sign, GPT, parentheses, quote, then give it the uh, the prompt, all right? Give it the prompt you want, quotation mark, um, parentheses. So it's got to be exactly precise. What I have noticed is, I don't know, and I'm not a programmer, but from what I can tell, it may not remember as well of what came before it, um, you know, when, when you're creating things, but it still works pretty great. So I'm just going to go um, GPT and this thing pops up and then I can say uh, generate 10 ideas for a Valentine's Day post at our pizza and brew pub. Include captions, um, hashtags, and um, emojis. Quotes, parentheses. So now that we've got all of this, all these ideas, we're going to copy it and we are going to go over here down at the bottom. Uh, let me hide this January planner. All right. Now this is um, um, version one here in January. If you join our uh, workshop, you'll get uh, access to the planner as well, but you can then go command D you can paste it um, in there. And actually I'm not going to go command D I'm going to right click and I am going to paste uh, values only, okay? Um, and so that's gonna not bring in all the code. Now, uh, it's not gonna bring in all that code that I did to create it. Now, if anybody has a better idea of how to uh, get these into individual cells, uh, I would love ideas because I am not a, um, I am not a Google Sheets person, but you can see what you can do is just copy them and paste them in. Now, uh, again, as a download, it, when you join our workshop, you can get um, uh, this uh, planning document, a generator document. And right here in red, I have different prompts. You can take these prompts, make them your own, and generate tons of content. For example, one that you'd always want to start with would be like, give me U.S. and food holidays. And it's going to come up with all these um, holidays and it's going to give you ideas. Like, for example, uh, on cut your energy cost days, it says share tips for reducing costs in your kitchen. How could you incorporate that with your restaurant? Right. And so the way it works is you click on the uh, the um, the row and you can see right here is the code. And so then you can just go and um, edit this, make it your own, and um, it's yours. So 
Um, what questions you have, drop it below. Join the workshop. You'll leave, you'll, you'll learn even more advanced strategies. Talk to you soon.